Welcome to your flip lesson 4.10. Today we are going to be looking at placing the first digit within a division problem. We're going to drop down here and look at our essential question which is, how can you use place value to know where to place the first digit in the quotient? Reminder, quotient is the answer in a division problem. Okay, we're going to jump down to unlock the problem. Unlock the problem, first we're going to read through it, then we're going to go back and we're going to um, figure out what we need to know in order to solve it and find out what the question is asking us so that we know that we have answered it correctly. Victor took 144 photos on a digital camera. The photos are to be placed equally in six photo albums. How many photos will be in each album? So we are going to underline what we need to find. So how many photos will be in each album? So we need to know how many photos are going to be in each album. In each album tells us this is going to be division, okay? Then we're going to need to circle the clues that we're going to use. We're going to circle the 144 photos, and we're going to circle the fact that we have six photo albums, okay? That once we've completed that and we know exactly what we're answering, our division problem is going to be set up like, like follows. It's going to be 144 divided by 6. Okay? Step 1 tells us to use place value to place the first digit. Why is it important to correctly place the first digit? This is important because if it's not placed correctly, you may skip a, a step in future digits in the quotient, which would ultimately lead to the wrong answer. Okay? So we're going to look at the hundreds and 144. The hundreds, we have a 1. So 100 cannot be shared among 6 groups without regrouping. So we're going to regroup 100 as 10 tens. So now, instead of 100, we have 14 tens to share among the 6 groups. Okay, and you can see here that they broke apart the 100 and, and changed it into 10 tens. So we have these tens, and then we have the four tens that we had from the original problem. The four that's in the tens, the one becomes 10 tens, the four is four tens, you put those together, 14 tens. The first digit of the quotient will be in the tens place. Okay, since we cannot divide six into one, it's not going to go because 6 is bigger than 1. We're going to take the 6 into the 14. So 14 tens divided by 6. 14 tens divided by 6. We want to find a number, a multiple of 6, that will go in equally without going over. Okay? So we're going to multiply 6 times the 2. That gives us 12. We'll put that number right underneath here. Then we're going to subtract our 14 tens minus our 12 tens. Okay. Now, we need to make sure that we check because two tens that we're going to get, 14 minus 12, we're going to get two tens. Two tens cannot be shared among six groups without regrouping. Okay. So this is where step three comes into place. Step three is going to have us bring down the four. Okay. So divide the ones, regroup two tens, as 21s. So now there are 24 ones. That's what this represents here, the 24 ones, okay, to share among six groups. So we're going to divide the 24 ones by 6. 24 ones by 6. We know that 24 divided by 6, the closest we can go is 4. So 6 times our 4 ones, 6 times 4, okay, is going to be 24 ones. So we have 24 ones minus the 24 ones that we got by multiplying 6 times 4. So we have 24 ones. We know that 24 ones minus 24 ones is going to be 0. So 0 cannot be shared among 6 groups. So we're done with the problem. There's nothing left to bring down, so we are finished. We have no remainder. There's going to be 24 photos in each album. Okay? 
I think it's important that we take a look at the math idea over here. It says after you divide each place, the remainder should be less than the divisor. Okay, our divisor is right here. If our remainder is greater than the divisor, we know that we need to go back and we need to try again. We probably need to go to a higher multiple in order to get the correct answer. Okay, that tells us that we are not done. All right. Now, down here in the math talk, how would the answer change if Jamie had 146 photos? The answer would change because we would actually have a remainder of two photos. Okay, so we would have 24 photos and we would have two photos that would not fit into one of the albums. Okay, we have another example to complete on page 254. Go ahead and flip to the next page. Page 254 at the top, example two. Divide 287 divided by two. Omar has 287 photographs of animals. If he wants to put the photos into two groups of the same size, how many photos will be in each group? So how many photos will be in each group is our question. In each group is gonna tell us that we're dividing. We're gonna circle the 287 because we need that number in order to divide and we also knew that we're splitting them in half so we're gonna use our two, okay? Using place value to place the first digit, look at the hundreds in two. Two hundreds can be shared with two groups. It's the same, two and two. So the first digit of the quotient will be in the hundreds place. Okay? So we know that two will go into two one time. Okay, so two hundreds divided by two is one. Then we take one times the two. We get two. Then we're going to subtract two hundreds minus two hundreds. We have zero hundreds left. Okay? Step three, divide the tens. So now we're moving into the number that we brought down. We bring down our eight. Two goes into eight. Two goes into eight. So we have our eight tens divided by two. Goes into it four times. They've already filled that in for us. Four times two, because we multiply next, is eight. Okay, so we did our two times four here. Sorry, I've just been thinking out loud and not writing it down. Then our next step is to subtract. So we do eight minus eight is zero. So we subtract eight tens minus eight tens. Ten, zero tens are left. Okay, so there will be, we're not done yet because we still have step four. We still have our ones place to work with. So over here, divide the ones. We're gonna divide seven ones, because next we bring our sevens all the way down. Two goes into seven, we're dividing. We know that it goes in three times, okay? So we're gonna take our two times our three. So two times three, and we're gonna subtract. Three times two is six. Seven ones minus six ones, we know that there's one that cannot be equally shared between the two groups. So there will be 143 photos in it, each group with one photo left over. Okay? So the first thing that you want to identify in the division problem is you want to make sure that the number at the beginning of the problem, so your divisor, has to be smaller than the first number in order to go into it, okay? I told my class today we have some steps that we follow, and I'm just gonna share those with you quickly. I'm not sure what your teacher will do, but step one is to divide. Step two is multiply. Step three is subtract. Step four is bring down. Step five is repeat and we repeat until there's nothing left to bring down, okay? Until nothing left to bring down, all right? So it's important that you go through each of these steps and that's essentially what we did in both examples, okay? We divided first, then we multiplied our divisor by the part of the quotient that we answered, then we subtracted, we brought down our next number, so our next door neighbor, we brought him down, and then we repeated that same cycle until there was nothing left to bring down, okay? You're gonna turn to page 225. On the share and show, you're gonna complete numbers two and three first. 
If time permits, you're going to move on to numbers 1 to number 1. So it looks like you have 2 and 3 to complete.